Hey guys, it is me, Phoenix. We are here to do a general read to see what your energy is, to see how you feel, to see what you got going on. Um, please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified. When I post a new video, remember red hearts, you made it through. Purple hearts, it resonates. Green hearts, you're working on it. Yellow hearts, you're rocking me. Got my six, being to have my back. It says you feel discouraged and free at the same time. It says independence, uh, unburdened, and liberated. So at the same time, you you feel discouraged and disheartened. You feel liberated. But um, that's because you're grateful for everything that you've been through because it's taught you how to be tough. It taught you to set yourself free. It taught you to be reborn, arise from the ashes. Uh, because at one point, you were afraid, afraid of the what ifs. So sorry about that. I'm going to pull from the show me deck to see what it is that we need to know and what uh, the universe is trying to show you or just answers that you may have in regards to feeling this way or the endeavors that you're going through. Um, yeah, I can't stress enough to like the video. It's free. Like the video. If you're in the chat, you hear it. My fears and how to communicate. So hmm, you feel discouraged because, yeah, um, of the negative energy that you've been receiving, feeling afraid, not knowing how to communicate, not knowing how to express your fears or um, understand that what you're going through is fears of the past. And so the two cards that we need to worry about is showing you how to communicate in the process of moving forward, the ebb and flows of life, um, being free and knowing that, you know, no matter what the universe has your back. And so I'm going to pull from the West to T deck to see what you have been dealing with. You know, the fears, again, I always say that the fears, um, the past causes fears. Yeah. So bad habits, the addictions, impersonator, uh, want to be like you, acts like you, dress like you, looks like, look, look like, and then copies you. And then we have bad habits. So, um, you know, this to me could be somebody that you've been, you come in uh, close proximity with and um, it just makes you feel like um, whoever it is, um, if we, we can look at it in a couple of ways, this could be relationship wise, this could be somebody with a third party energy or somebody that you separated from their um, bad habits, their addictions, things like that. You know, this is your codependent energies, but they're trying to find somebody that looks, acts, and talks like you. That is your fear that the person that you're in separation with will find somebody like you. But you have to be able to communicate and understand. You need to communicate with yourself and set yourself free from the situation because there is never going to be another you. If that was the case, the universe would duplicate you and not anybody else. So the thing is, whether you have a twin or not, or whether it's somebody that may look similar to you or have the same attributes, it's not you and the people, places, and situations um, that um, you've been around or that, um, how do you say, that um, has at some point uh, exited your life um, will never be able to find anybody like you. So um, that's the reason why Dale made that song. You know, never mind, I'll find someone like you. Um, if this is a relationship, we'll talk about that down the line. But I'm going to go ahead and pull tarot. Um, this could be a job. This could be any type of situation. But you are in the negative energy because you're afraid that, you know, when it comes to someone um, filling the void or filling a void uh, to play um, play you. Ace of Wands is in the reverse, yeah. And this is not in the reverse, uh, the justice energy. Now, these cards are sideways. That's the reason why I'm taking this, because it did come out in the reverse and the justice energy. So uh, the Ace of Wands being in the reverse, it's like um, you're, you're kind of reaching a plateau. You're bored. You know, it's like um, a lack of courage, if you ask me, um, because at some point, you know, you have to have the willpower to be able to say, you know what? Um, you know, take what you need. I like this card, the justice energy. It says, take what you need, what you need, pay what you can. So you're very fair to everyone. You know, justice energy is like doing the right thing, but you know, you done, you, you know that you've done the right thing for people, places, and situations, but at the same time, uh, at, you had to move forward 
from a situation that made you feel discouraged. And yeah, Six of Cups energy, the past energy, Seven of Cups, you have options. You have several options, but you're choosing to dwell on these ones that are right here in front of you. We have the Two of Pentacles. You have to make a decision when it comes to being tough and knowing that the past does cause fears and that's where you feel discouraged about, you know, um, and afraid. It causes you to feel afraid of what the future may bring or what the future how, what the future holds for you, but the Knight of Swords energy tells you to be tough, be ambitious, know what you want, go after it in a single-minded determination. So if this is a relationship or if this is a job, you can be replaced. Yes, you can. But will it be you? Will you give? Will they give that same energy to you? No. But there are other places out in the universe and in the world that will respect and 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 love to have your energy around. So you know the cyber bullying, bullying somebody. Cyberbullying can be a lot. It can be somebody sending text messages to you. Um, it says um, you are being bullied online. They are are has suffering from it, etc. They are. Um, uh, okay, um, they're suffering from it. Uh, that's what we're gonna do. Um, or you're suffering from somebody spewing negativity about you. But your codependent co energies when it comes to how you keep trying to be there for people um, in places and situations that are not there for you. You have to be grateful that you are who you are and set yourself free from certain situations. This could be fly the coop. This could be understanding that, you know, it's no need to um, be fearful of the things that you cannot change. And so with that being said, you have to understand that, you know, sometimes it's just time to fold them and, or know when to hold them, know when to fold them. So if this is in regards to a relationship, I'm going to go ahead and pull from the Twin Flame uh, Soulmate and um, Twin Flame Soulmate and Toxic. I think that's what it is. Uh, karmic. That's what it is. Karmic energy. So if you're dealing with a relationship, hesitation and also Dark Knight. Um, so this is the thing. Everybody who's wronged you are going to eventually have to go through a dark night of the soul. And um, also, you experience that too. And sometimes you experience that when it comes to twin flame energies, which meaning you have to remove your energy and let them realize that there's not another you out there, even though your codependent energies of you taking care of people, because the toxic codependent energies could be queen of pinnacles, somebody who can have everything and um, all the finances, all the luxuries that they want and need in life. But at the same time, they always have this uh, same energy, which is take what you need and pay for what you don't. I mean, pay what you can. And that becomes, well, I can't pay today. Or that becomes this because your loving nature makes you really look, uh, makes you really, makes you, makes you not understand that those are, those can become bad habits to people who are takers and not givers. So, you know, this is to the people who appreciate your energy. But it says, dark night, your twin flame could be experiencing dark night of the soul, a period of spiritual desolation, disconnection, and emptiness. And so this person is feeling empty, but they're going to go try to find a you and someone else before they actually find, uh, come back and realize what you brought to the table and we have safe space you made it feel like it was a safe space for them and their hesitation of coming back is ego so it says your twin will feel safer being friends first before uh, getting intimate learn to enjoy the present moment and discover your playful side so this person was able to see your pay playful side and realize that you are the safe space that they need and the toxicity is out there and they're afraid to to understand that even though somebody might have options that when it comes to um, them spewing uh, toxic energies and bullying other other people, they need to learn how to communicate and to face their fears. So this might be an energy when it comes to somebody that you're dealing with, but it comes out, right? Hesitation. Their hesitation is causing inaction due to fears of rejection because of their previous behaviors, or it may be they don't fully trust the connection. So again, um, the six of cups energy is blessed, uh, excuse me, it can be blessings, but it can be memories and it can be nostalgia, childhood energies that they're afraid to face when it comes to dealing with certain situations, but you gave them a safe space and you gave, you told them to come and go as you please. This is the same energy as take what you need and pay when you can come and go as you please, because I trust you and I love you enough to understand that this is something that, you know, um, this is something that um, 
I this is who I always have been or whatever and so the only thing they know how to do is to be negative and you know that again um, they're looking hesitation is looking to find somebody in somebody like you you know but they'll, they'll never find somebody like you so again we're going to clarify the uh, ace of swords um, let me see if this is in regards to finances we'll go ahead and pull that but we also going to pull from the evolution of the soul oh look my cards from last night are in here or the other day I don't know what day it was but here you have it and um, I'll just show you because I didn't know they were in here oh no over over these aren't the cards I think chaser was there over romanticized losing identity and chaser yeah th I was it the chaser or the runner so all toxic energy so this was in this card deck that I used it's this same card deck right here, but I used this the other day, so maybe this uh, they were together, so maybe they uh, went on top of this. But anyway, let's, let's go ahead and read it. Over romanticized. Sometimes our idea of love is far from reality, and as a result, we end up over romanticizing relationships. Take the time to reevaluate your views. And so that is what you are doing now, and that's the reason why you're grateful for it because maybe you, um, maybe you made – a good decision to walk away from a situation, lose an identity. I feel like you are slowly losing yourself in this process of loving them and forgetting that you are also deserving of love. So that is what you gave them was a safe step space and they hesitated. But again, you saw potential in a situation that had no potential because this person is fearful of their toxicity and also afraid to show what it is that they really want in life chaser instead of trying to convince the other party of your worth redirect that energy into other areas in your life trust relax be patient and surrender so this is you losing yourself um, trying to wait for a person to change their mind or to see your potential and again you saw potential in them that's the reason why and that's that's toxic that's codependent energy and you saw the potential in them um, and that's the reason why you were tough and you weren't afraid to do the work and you had that come and go um, energy as you please but you were discouraged because of the way that they were so what they did was they tried to impersonate you and find somebody like you and they couldn't do that and so if this is in regards to finances I'll pull the finance energy um, but yeah you're losing yourself no matter what so if this is is a job um, or you have to learn how to communicate how to set boundaries and how to face your fears you know I always tell you guys oh I used to say it I haven't said it in a while I used to watch the movie Drop Dead Fred, and it was so hilarious. But the if you guys go back and watch that movie, it was about giving her the means uh, to set boundaries and to not let people walk all over her. So her imaginary friend, Drop Dead Fred, came out. And look, it's another card here. Dang. Um, Self-care. I mean, I can't make this up, and this wasn't in my last read. Uh, but her, her imaginary friend was there to show her how to set boundaries and how to stand up for herself and that was from her mom her um her her lovers and and it was it was basically her mom because her mom was bossy and pushy the dad left the mom because she was so bossy and pushy and the little girl was faced to deal with all of the uh, pain that her mother was enduring to try to protect her and then Drop Dead Fred came. So if you guys want to look it up, it's a really good movie. It's crazy as hell. And um, it is not a little kid's movie, but the little kids. Yeah, it's not a little kid's movie. It's for an adult, basically. But, hey, and you guys don't mind my nails. My niece has uh, had her baby, so she's on maternity leave. So I'm going to have to go to her house in a minute. Um, but anyway, hold on, my alarm is going off. Self-care, no matter what happens before or how hard things feel for you, Right now, you can't deny yourself some TLC. Your body is sacred. And so losing your identity tells you that you need to practice self-care. Let me cut this alarm off. Okay, so I turned it off. But, yeah, so that movie was really about, it was really for adults. And, yes, it was a little girl in there. But the whole aspect of it all was that Drop Dead Fred taught her or was trying to teach her how to grow up, to set boundaries, and to not let people walk all over you. So, um just kind of look at it if you want to. But all of these cards came out. Rider is here. So you're able to create your own story. You're a rescuer at the same time. You have unrealistic tendencies. There's nothing wrong with that. But again, back to 
the justice energy, the co consequences of your actions are at hand. Um, it says you might have to take care of some legal matters related to your financial issues. You could receive money from some kind of legal matter. This is a good time to handle any legal matters involving money. But I believe that this is having balance and finding balance within yourself and also stability is here. So stability is here. Media is here. It says step into the spotlight and get seen. Don't allow your talent to go unnoticed. A career in television, radio, magazine, or any mass media job might be perfect for you. It might be time for you to get more pub publicity if you want to increase your finances. Oh, look, this is another card. Damn, I, I literally, I, I go through and I take each card out protective this is not in my other energy it says this is a relationship you will feel protected and safe both of you will love each other immensely that you will lose you will fear losing one another so um i don't know if this is you and your codependent energies trying in the toxic ways that codependents are and if you need to know what codependent is listen to melanie Beatty, codependent no more we think that um, everybody is codependent on our energy, but we are actually codependent on helping them and seeing the potential in them. That's the reason why it says you're losing yourself because you you give everybody safe spaces and they hesitate to even come out to help you. So I think that's a really good thing. And this is the consequences of your actions that you have to realize just this energy, again, having and finding balance. And so the protective energy is why people are grateful for you, but at the same time, they decide to walk over you. And the decisions that you have to make is, do I hold on to the past? Um, I'm watching um, the court trial of Young Thug, um, the YSL, if you guys have listened to it. And um, I've been discussing with my teachers, uh, basically, the Georgia state law. But it's sad. And it's 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 um, it's sad that somebody can you can grow as an individual and those same people that you are trying to help grow and that you stay back around are the ones that try to bring you down some in, in majority of the cases. So um, I just believe that that is something that um, we have to get out of the bad habits the toxicity, the codependencies, the addictions, the drugs, all of those type of energies of um, pulling yourself down. Does that make sense? And um, again, uh, that is Capricorn energy, you know, when it comes to, um, you know, um, the devil energy, be aware, be aware of your appetites. Your appetites can be toxic because you want to protect the people that you grew up with. But at some point, you're losing your identity. And you become overly romanticized or you see potential in people who don't even see it in themselves. And so you're become that safe space and at the same time hesitate when it comes to walking away. So how to communicate and facing your fears is learning that. And that's what a lot of people get a lot of uh, slack for when they um, become rich and famous because everybody can't go with you to the top. And that's when jealousy and uh, and and all kind of hatred comes out. But anyway, back to this, growing up, you have to grow up and realize it's time to step up, step up into your own power and stop engaging in childish qualities, you know. And so don't rely on others to help you and care for you. The This is your, your th excuse me, to care for you. This mess is yours to clean up. Avoid depending on someone else's income. You have all the skills to make your own. So that's something that you have to learn. And that's the decisions that you have to make when it comes to giving, 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 and dealing with takers. And so the next one is be a sport. Um, be a sport. I'll put this up here next to fears. Your fears are growing up and growing away from people and growing away from the things that you saw potential in. Be a sport. It says you are being asked to have more fun and focus on being a team player. You could get, you could be great at any sport, career, or in the field of health and fitness. Improve your finances by considering working as a team or doing collaboration. So, you know, sometimes collaborating means that the people that you grew up with can't collaborate with you. And that's the discouraging energy of growing up. Ask for help. Sometimes you have to ask the universe for help 
um, because you'll sink before you swim. It says, consider asking for help with regards to your financial problems. Look at your financial situation from a new perspective. You still have some resources remaining. So again, um, you know, this is just telling you to have an open mind, but the key is to grow up. And sometimes when you grow up, you have to ask for help and be grateful and uh, feel free, even though that even though you're the person who's used to protecting everybody else and and helping everybody else, you have the right to, you have the right to create your own story and the unrealistic ten tendencies of you over romanticizing and losing your identity and chasing people who uh, and protecting people um, takes away from your self care and that's the reason why um, people know again that how to communicate with you is they know that you're a safe space. You'll drop everything, the Queen of Pentacles energy, with the Six of Pentacles given to others wholeheartedly without expecting to receive the same yourself. So the justice energy tells you to do the right thing. But if you're giving to takers, the takers are going to take and they'll never, you're never, they'll never, your energy will never be reciprocated, if that makes sense. And so real estate is here. You could be planning to buy a house. You could be planning to move. You could be planning to set a foundation. But it says build a solid foundation prior to building several stories above it. So that's where the options come in at when it comes to the Seven of Cups energy. You know, you can keep building all these houses, but um, if the bones aren't aren't good, Mira Morrison, if you listen to the bones, if the bones aren't good, you know, the foundation, then everything will fall apart. And that's about the King of Wands energy being here. The King of Wands is somebody who overcomes challenges and sees the big picture but leads um, leads in order to do that. It says consider a career in real estate, interior design, architecture, and any home business. It says it's time to go back to the basics and strengthen your finances. So that is what you're doing. You're looking at ways to increase your finances. You're looking at ways to have the courage to be able to do things. And at the bottom of the deck is beauty. Listen to this. Embrace your unique style and own it. Let the world see who you really are. Consider careers doing hair, jewelry, clothing, or any type or any job that enhances other beauties. Your inner world must match your outer world for things to change. So your inner world must match your outer world. You can't be afraid to uh, deal with the toxicities and say it, say what it is that you want. You have options out there. You have to go through a dark night of the soul. And a lot of the times, people are placed in your life to teach you a lesson. So thank them. No man is your enemy. No man is your friend. Every man is your teacher. You being a protector of everyone else uh, in the process of not taking care of yourself is your toxic traits and that's called codependency and it's nothing wrong with that you just have to learn that it's time for a change and it's time for you to let go of the people that you know can't really see what you bring to the table and go from there so I'm going to pull a couple of tarot cards to see um, what comes out but uh, about being discouraged feeling free and grateful you have to understand that again you are the safe space so how do you communicate to people who aren't grateful for you three of cups energy Three of Cups is friendships, creativity, and collaborations. You have to know, again, the people who you collaborate with, who you can be a sport with, who you can go beyond, um, you know, and, yeah, and you, who you can go beyond. But that takes Eight of Pentacles energy for you to work on yourself. You have to work on yourself, Eight of Pentacles. You have to be the one to create your own story. You can't rescue everybody with unrealistic tendencies and understand that you're going to have balance and stability from that. So the goal is to recreate the things that you want to do. Find the passions. Go out. Find people who are your like kind. And that's where when you do that, some people are going to have an issue and, and, and call you fake and, you know, all these other things. But these are the things you have to get out of out of you have to be a uh, you can't be afraid of facing your fears and that's basically what it is so um, your fears are the hesitation of why you can't help these situations anymore the Empress energy is the Empress energy is telling you to create but it's telling you that you are beautiful the Empress energy whether male or female is just letting you know that you have the power to nurture any situation to make any situation grow to comfort any situation but you have to start with yourself first and that's kind of how I see that. And then we have, let's see, yeah, we have the Eight of Cups energy. Eight of Cups, it takes for you to be able to see that by walking away from the things that no longer serve you. Eight of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, eight years it took for you to get to this point to where you're deciding to walk away respectfully. High Priestess energy, trust your intuition. So this person is looking back at, but, you know, keeping the cups there, you can have everything that I've given you, but it's time for me to walk away. 
It's time for me to walk away. There's a full moon. It's a full moon tonight. But it's time for you to walk away from the things that no longer serve you and trust in your intuition, high priestess energy, which is letting you know to listen to your instincts. Listen to your instincts and understand that you've done this time and time again. The wheel is just going to keep turning around and you're going to keep repeating it. What's the definition of insanity? Doing the same thing over and over again and expecting to receive, to, to, excuse me, doing the same thing over and over again and expecting to see different results. And that's not going to happen. So you need to protect your energy and practice self-care and understand that that potential will never, ever um, be enough to a person or you seeing the potential in somebody will never ever work um, unless they're willing to work on it so that is kind of how I see that you know the mystery is there within you but at the same time your intuition you have to trust and not really ouch I hit my ring on my microphone not really trust not really look towards the future but know that the future is bright that's why you got to wear shades, right? Um, but know in the present moment right now, this is where you are. You have to walk away and use your intuition and your inner beauty must match your outer. And that's a part of you learning that your protective nature is basically toxic to you because you're not loving yourself and practicing self-care when it comes to all of the situations that you've been a part of, if that makes sense. So I'm going to go ahead and pull from the crystal deck and then the emerald heart chakra and then I'm going to pull from the four agreements um yeah always do your best you've done your best in every situation and so the only thing that you can do now is just move forward your best is changing all the time so the best thing that you can do is move forward and it says your best will depend on whether you are refreshed in the morning or tired at night your best will, will be different when you are happy as opposed to upset or healthy as opposed to six sick under any circumstances, simple, simply do your best and you will avoid self-judgment, self-abuse, and regret. So again, you have to understand facing your fears and being afraid is, uh, or facing your fears, not being afraid to face your fears is a part of learning how to communicate with your, with your soul, to communicate with your intuition. But being discouraged is another part of what you have to understand that you have to protect yourself. So the discouragement doesn't come from you being disheartening, uh, but it comes from you understanding that a lot of the times when you are stagnant in a certain situation, it's because you haven't healed yet and you feel the need to have to protect everybody else's energies and not yours. So don't be discouraged. Don't be afraid. Face your fears and learn how to communicate. And that's a part of the emerald which is your heart chakra, sending strength and healing. That's prosperity, healing, and hope. Um, again, the heart chakra is prosperity, healing, and hope. If you want to know my perspective on the, the chakras and also the four agreements, I'll put the links above or around here. And it says, I focus on prosperity and the universe provides abundance. And that's all you need to do. I focus on prosperity and the universe provides abundance. The universe is telling you to grow up, to be a team player to the people who are playing with you, um, to create your own story, to understand what rescuer is. And I'll read that to you really fast. Um, it says, someone may enter your life and help you resolve any difficulties you're experiencing. Consider a career as a firefighter, paramedic, or any rescue or heroic, prof heroic profession. Asking for help is not a sign of weakness. Quiet, quite the, she's quite the opposite. It shows your strength. So again, it says to ask for help here, but it's not saying that because you're a re you, you somebody is asking you for help, it's it's not a sign of weakness. But after so long of you understanding what the unrealistic tendencies of these people, it's unrealistic. Your expectations in the future are unrealistic and need revision. Perhaps your vision is big and may require a plan of and need more careful thought you could be setting yourself up for failure if you don't set realistic financial goals. And so that's where you need to have the balance when it comes to you creating your own story and understanding that it's okay to rescue people. It's okay to help people to say, take what you want and pay what you can. But at some point, that's only to people who are really understanding about who you are and your protective nature, you know, and not in this not um, used to you um, always coming to their rescue, if that makes sense. So, um, again, I've already read this, you know, always do your best. The best is ever changing. And 
the heart chakra, which is prosperity, healing, and hope. Let's let this old energy go. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or a situation. I love you guys.